Welcome to EDILAS as your interactive digital learning platform for science subjects in secondary schools. In this tutorial, you will learn how to perform simple pendulum experiment. This tutorial aimed to determine the oscillation due to gravity by using the motion of simple pendulum. The displayed list is a list of apparatuses used in this experiment. This experiment contains a number of procedures. They are seems very long, but don't worry, it's so easy to perform them. Step 0 In step 0, it's just overview to vernier caliper. Vernier caliper helps to measure diameter of small objects. It contains with two scales. The one shown, which is starting from 0 to 10, called vernier scale. And its metric are in millimeter. The second one shown which is starting from 0 to 100 is called main scale and its metrics are in centimeter. Also, the vernier caliper has right jaw and left jaw. Step 1. And step 1 is about measuring the diameter of the bulb with the vernier caliper. First three, you have to attach the bulb to left jaw of the vernier caliper as shown. Then move the right jaw left to tighten the bulb. Then, for getting measures of the bulb, we have first to get the main scale reading measures by looking at the number of main scale readings which is near Mach line 0 of vernier scale. From the experiment, Mach line number 2 of main scale near 0 of vernier scale, so the main scale reading is 2. Also, we have to get vernier scale readings by looking at main scale reading line number which attached equal with the same line number of vernier scale reading. From the experiment, line 5 of vernier scale attached equal with the line number 4.3 of main scale. So, vernier scale reading is 0.5 mm. It, it is supposed to be converted into centimeter to resemble main scale reading matrix. Lastly, for getting the diameter of the bulb, main scale reading must be added with vernier scale reading. And after the operation, we get the diameter of the bulb is 2.05 cm which equal to 0.0205 meter. Step 2. In step 2, one end of string is clamped to lead support as shown. Step 3. In step 3, attach one end of string with the bulb as shown. Step 4. In step 4, distance of string from supporting point to the top of the bulb about 6 cm is measured by using a metal ruler and the length 6 cm is converted to meter and recorded to a data sheet step 5 in step 5 the length of pendulum L is measured this length is the length of string from support point to the top of the bulb plus the radius of the bulb step 6 in step 6 a bulb is dispersed to one side for undergo oscillation the bulb is displaced A side to a certain angle and after raise it, immediately start a stopwatch and make a pendulum move back and forth to undergo 20 oscillation and the recorded total time it took to oscillate the 20 oscillation to your data sheet. Step 7. In step 7, the experimental time period which represents with capital T is calculated. It is calculated by dividing the total number of oscillation a bulb variated with total time which it took to oscillate to oscillation. Then, record the time period in the data sheet. Step 8. In step 8, the square expanded time period is calculated and recorded in the data sheet. And it is calculated as shown. Step 9. In step 9, the length of pendulum is changed to 80, 100, 120, and 40 cm. And for each string length, step 5 to 8 are repeated. And data obtained are recorded to a data sheet. Step 10. In step 10, the data obtained from each experiment are recorded in the data sheet as shown. Then, the marked data of experiment 1 when the experiment string length of the pendulum was 6 cm are taken to plot the graph. Step 11. In step 11, the graph is plotted against the length of pendulum L and square time period T squares 
on the graph pad as shown. Step 12. In step 12, the slope of strike line is circulated and the value is recorded on the data sheet. After that, the experiment value of G as a graph is circulated as shown. And from the whole experiment, the oscillation due to gravity obtained is 10.4 meter per second squares. Thank you for watching this tutorial.